So it's a, uh, another gorgeous day out here on uh, Ipswich Bay. I'm uh, headed for the Anasquam River right now. I don't know if you can uh, make out the windmills there in uh, Gloucester. Yeah, I think they might be visible on the video. So, um, yeah, headed for the uh, Anasquam River. I, uh, I put the boat in on the uh, noontime high tide. It was actually already dropping. I didn't get down to the river until 1.30, almost two o'clock. So I put the boat in on the uh, noontime high tide and uh, got the thing all rigged up and pretty much I loaded it in the yard so I didn't have to do that. And was probably, uh, probably got the anchor up by three maybe and the tide was really ripping out of the Parker River. So I headed down the Parker and bumped to the center board a couple of times on some of the sandbars and stuff. Um, but didn't go aground really, so that was a good thing. Um, got down to the mouth and there was a nice breeze, probably a 12 to 14 mile an hour breeze, so I was chugging right along. It's lightened up a little bit since then, it's probably you know, 10 to 12 now. So, but plenty to move the boat. And I was thinking, oh, well, maybe I'll just, you know, make it down to the Pavilion Beach in Ipswich or Sandy Point or something. And then I'll at least be near the river mouth for tomorrow morning. But, uh, try and catch the last of the, uh, the outgoing tide, you know, to get out of the river. As long as I was, had the anchor up before six o'clock, I could have rode the tide out but uh, no it was such a nice day and the uh, <coughs> and the winds good and the tide was roaring out so um, yeah I just kept going and I'm out on Ipswich Bay probably two-thirds of the way to the uh, Anasquam River so I'm thinking that uh, I will go up so the tide's going to turn start coming in it's going to be dead low around six o'clock and it's probably 5 30 now five o'clock so figure i'll uh, catch the incoming tide up the anasquam with you know whatever winds left i may just end up uh, having to row we'll see but if the wind dies then you know rowing shouldn't be any chore because uh, you know, i'll just be going with the tide basically just steer the boat, keep it in the channel. So I figure I'll head up the Anasquam and find a place to uh, spend the night up there. And then into Gloucester tomorrow, uh, well, at least by noontime, because that's when the uh, tide will be high again and f going out. I suppose I could try and get through the uh, through the canal at like 5.30 in the morning if I'm up. Maybe uh, catch the last of the outgoing tide. And also if my boat is in the ground, when the uh, black fly, those things are nasty. Anyway, uh, yeah, so try and get through the, the canal. And if not, I'll probably just go through the canal tomorrow around noontime. And the uh, schooner fest should be in full swing at that point. So hoping to meet up with uh, Susie and Michael, and uh, they've got the uh, Alyssa Yaldori over there. So and uh, maybe uh, John and Harold. See if I can say hi to them. So yeah. Anyway, beautiful. Uh, Beautiful Friday afternoon out on uh, out on Ipswich Bay. It's, uh